Good evening, children. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, children. Good evening. So last class we started this chapter of mensuration, and uh, we finished the first exercise comprising of uh, five questions. Ah, uh, did we finish the fifth one? No, no, no. We didn't finish the fifth one, right? I'm sorry. One second. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Just a minute. Yes, children, we have to do the fifth one in that exercise. All right. <clears throat> Mensuration exercise uh, 11.1, .1, question number five from uh, NCRT textbook, maths textbook. Um, uh, yeah. And I think we finished the fifth one. Um. Ma'am, you told to take screenshot and take a look of it, ma'am. We didn't explain it. Yeah, yeah, that's what even I remember. That's what even I remember. Okay, yeah, we'll do the fifth one now. So now um, I think by now you're clear about uh, the perimeter. Let me ask you certain questions to make sure that you understood clearly. Now, this is a semicircle. What's the length of this arc? What is the length of this arc? Meaning, tell me the expression that is to be used to find the length of this arc. And pi r. Pi r, very good, pi r. What is the length of this line segment attached to the semicircle? 2d, ma'am. 2r, ma'am. 2R, okay, so 2R or D because it, from here to here it's the radius, from here to here it's the radius. So the length of this line segment, which is the diameter, is 2R. So what is the perimeter of this semicircular region? What is this? What is the perimeter? What is the perimeter of the semicircular region? The semicircular region is made up of an arc, which is a semicircle, and the diameter. The semicircular region, see if the figure looks like this, if the figure looks like this, if the figure looks like this, this is a semicircular region, which is made up of a semicircle, which is an arc, and the diameter. The length of the semicircle is pi r, and the length of the diameter is d or 2r. So the perimeter, the perimeter of this figure, or the length of the boundary of this figure is given by the expression pi r plus 2 r units. Is this clear, children? Yes, ma'am. Very good. Now, what is the length? What is the what is the length of a quarter circle? A quarter circle. What's the length of a quarter circle? This one. Like I'm saying circle the length of a quarter circle from here to here the length of this how much is this one what's the length of a quarter circle one by fourth of two r ma'am two r eh? r ma'am just two r okay what's the length what's the length of the circle what's the circumference of the circle 2 pi r ma'am. 2 pi r. And we are talking about 1 fourth the length of 2 pi r, right? Yes ma'am. So it will be 1 by 4 into 2 pi r, correct? Yes. Yes. Yeah, so 1 by 4 into 2 pi r, which is on simplifying. to the pi r. Pi r by 2. Pi r by 2. Pi r by 2. The circumference or the length of the circle is 2 pi r. If you divide the 
if you divide the circle into two, into four equal parts, the length of each arc, the length of each of each arc, one, two, three, four. The length of each of these arcs will be pi r by two. Pi r by two. This is pi r by two. This is pi r by two. And the length of this arc is pi r by two. All put together will be two pi r. All right. So here, children, we need to find which figure has the greatest perimeter. Which figure has the greatest perimeter? <clears throat> so what will be the uh, in figure one? Look at figure one. Look at figure one. What's the length of the boundary of figure one? Tell me the expression. Tell me the expression. Pi r or pi, pi r plus two r. Pi r plus two r. Okay, pi r plus two r. What's the length of the boundary of the second expression? What is the length of the boundary of the second expression? What's the length of uh, this line segment? What's the length of this line segment? 1.5 centimeter. 1.5. What's the length of this line segment? 2.8. 2.8. This one? 1.5 centimeter. 1.5. So the, the boundary, the boundary of this figure is made up of four parts three line segments and one arc, which is a semicircle. So the length of the three line segments are 1.5, 2.8 and 1.5. So we need to add all this 1.5 plus 2.8 plus 1.5 plus the length of this arc. How do you find the length of this arc, which is a semicircle? What's the formula? Pi r. No. Pi r. And what's the value of d? Answer my question correctly. What's the value of d? 2.8 ma'am. 2.8. So what will be the value of R? 1.4. 1.4. So substitute that and uh, find the uh, find the perimeter of this figure, figure 2. And coming to the third figure, the third figure is made up of three parts. One line segment of length 2 centimeters, another line segment of length 2 centimeters, and a semicircle. And a semicircle. You can see, can you see something marked here? The length, that is the diameter. The diameter of the semicircle is 2.8 centimeters. You can see it here. This one from here to here. Can you see my pointer, children? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So you can see here, the length of this line segment is 2 centimeters. The length of this line segment is 2 centimeters. And, the, and there is a semicircle here. We need to find the length of the semicircle. The diameter, the diameter of the semicircle is 2.8 centimeters. So what will be the radius? 1.4 centimeter. 1.4 centimeters. So 2 plus 2 plus pi r. 2 plus 2. There are only, we can see the boundary of the, the boundary of figure 3. The boundary of figure 3 is made up of three parts. Two line segments and one semicircle. The length of the line segments, 2 centimeters, 2 centimeters. The length of the semicircle, pi r. The value of R, 1.4. All right, children, so you can, if you have already completed, if you have already completed the answer using the uh, screenshot of last class, fine. Otherwise, please complete this. Take a picture now. If you have not taken, take a picture now and complete this. This finishes the first exercise, 11.1. I have taken screenshot now, but I didn't complete it as we didn't discuss it. Yeah, then you do it. Yes, ma'am. Done, children? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Good evening, ma'am. Good evening, Madhavita. Yeah. So here, find the area of quadrilateral PQRS. Find the area of quadrilateral PQRS. Now, a quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. A quadrilateral is a four-sided polygon. A polygon made up of four line segments. 
is a quadrilateral. Now the formula to find the area of a quadrilateral. See, uh, the formula depends on the information given to us. So in this case, in this case we can use, uh, in this case to find the area of the quadrilateral, we could use this formula half D into H1 plus H2. Half D into H1 plus H2. See, you can use this formula or, or what's the formula to find the area for triangle children? What is the formula to find the area for triangle? 1 by 2 base into height. Ma. Half base into height. Half base into height. So see here. Now, so tell me the quadrilateral is made up of two triangles, right? The yes, ma'am. The quadrilateral is made up of two triangles. So area of triangle uh, QRS is equal to half base into height. Half into what's the value of the base? 5.5. 5.5 from here to here, from here to here, base 5.5 into altitude 2.5. Correct? Two. Correct. So half base into height. Area of uh, triangle QRS is equal to half into base into height. Base is 5.5 into height uh, 2.5. So work this and get the answer. Then area of triangle, area of triangle, what's the name of the other triangle? QPS. QPS is equal to half base into height. Half into base. What's the length of the base? 5.5. 5.5. Into height? 1.5. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1. 1.5. So you can so work out the areas of these two triangles. Add both the areas. Add both the areas to get the area of the quadrilateral PQRS. The quadrilateral PQRS is made up of two triangles one QRS and another QPS. So you can find the areas of these two triangles using the formula half base into height, add the areas to find the area of the quadrilateral. This is one approach. So now what was the formula we used to find the area of uh, QRS half base into height, right? So half into what is, what's the value of the base? 5.5. Mm, sorry, not value. One second. I was just disturbed. Yeah. Half into half into uh, what's the uh, uh, what's the base? What's the line segment called? QS, right? Into if I call this if I call this point uh, say M and N. If I call this M and I call this N. Half into QS into RM, right? R RM plus plus half, PN. In, half into QS into PN. Now, what is common between the two? Half into QS is common, right? Half QS is common. Open bracket. What should I write in the bracket? Half QS. What's common? Sorry, half QS is common. What should I write in the bracket? RM. R Rn plus Pn. That's the formula you see here. That is exactly the formula you see here. Half diagonal into height one. That is the uh, sum of the altitudes on this diagonal. See here, half D. D is nothing but QS. D is nothing but QS. Half D. D is nothing but QS. Into H1 plus H2. H1 is Rn. H2 is uh, Pn. So you can use the formula half D into H1 plus H2. I told you both the ways. Either you can find the areas of the two triangles and add, or you can use this formula half D into H1 plus H2. Half D into H1 plus H2. The value of D is 5.5. H1 is 2.5 and H2 is 1.5. You can also take H1 as 1.5 and H2 as 2.5. That's okay. D is a diagonal. D stands for diagonal. And the diagonal is QS. Which is the other diagonal of the quadrilateral? Which is the other diagonal of the quadrilateral? QS is one diagonal. Which is the other diagonal? RP, ma'am. 
or P. If you join P R, if you join P R, that is if you join the opposite vertices, you can see the diagonals. P and R are the opposite vertices. P and R are opposite vertices. So when you join P R, P R is a diagonal. Similarly, Q and S opposite vertices. So Q S is a diagonal. Half D into H1 plus H2. Half diagonal here Q S into H1 plus H2. That is the altitudes on this diagonal. The perpendiculars on this diagonal. Please write down children. Excuse me, ma'am. Yeah, Madhubita. Ma'am, I have exam tomorrow. Can I leave the meeting? Oh, OK, fine, fine. All right. I will make use of the meeting recording now. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, fine, fine, Madhubita. All right, yeah. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Completed writing, ma'am. All right. Others? Ma'am, just a minute. Yeah. Completed, ma'am. All right. Done, Raja? Yes, ma'am. All right. So, what is the formula to find the area of a quadrilateral? 1 by 2 d h1 plus h2, ma'am. Half d into h1 plus h2 square units. Very good. Next one, find the area of a rhombus whose diagonals are of lengths 10 centimeters and 8.2 centimeters. Make a note of this. So to find the area of a rhombus, we have two formulae. Area of rhombus, area of rhombus is equal to base into height. Base into height, if you're given the base and height, if you're given, if you, if, the information given is regarding the base of the rhombus and the perpendicular height. Then you use this formula base into height square units. If the, if the lens of the diagonals are given, if the lens of the diagonals are given, then area of rhombus, area of rhombus is equal to half D1, D2, half product of diagonals. That is half product of diagonals, half into product of diagonals. If to find the area of the rhombus, if the information given is regarding the base and the height, they give you the base and the height of the rhombus, then you use the formula base into height. Area of rhombus is equal to base into height and arrive at the area. If information is regarding the diagonals, then use the formula half D1, D2. Half product of diagonals, half into D1 into D2 square units. So base into height or half D1, D2, not half base into height, base into height or half D1, D2, half product of diagonals. Okay. 
You have I done this answer? Completed now. All right. Completed now. Okay. Danya, over. Yes, ma'am. Next one. The area of a trapezium shaped field is 480 meters square. So let's see the formula to find the area of a trapezium. So we know a trapezium is a quadrilateral with one pair of opposite sides parallel. A trapezium, a trapezium is a quadrilateral. A trapezium is a quadrilateral in which one pair of opposite sides are parallel and the other pair, the other pair of opposite sides is not parallel. A quadrilateral in which if both the pairs of opposite sides are parallel, then it's a parallelogram. If both pairs of opposite sides are parallel, it's a parallelogram. If only one pair of opposite sides is parallel, it's a trapezium. Now these are the parallel sides of the trapezium and the distance between the parallel sides is called the height of the trapezium. The distance between the parallel sides, the distance between the parallel sides is called the height of the trapezium. So if I draw trapezium like this, where these two sides are parallel, this, this distance between the parallel sides this distance between the parallel sides is called the height of the trapezium. Height of the trapezium. The parallel sides are represented by the letters A and B, and the distance between the parallel sides is represented by the letter H. The parallel sides the parallel sides are represented by the letters A and B, and the distance between the parallel sides is represented by the letter H. And the formula goes like this area of a trapezium, area of a trapezium is equal to half sum of parallel sides into the distance between them. I'll write it here in words area of a trapezium in words is equal to half into sum of parallel sides, sum of parallel sides, sum of parallel sides into the distance between them, distance between the parallel sides, distance between the parallel sides. So symbolically, half sum of the parallel sides, A plus B, into the distance between the parallel sides, H. Please make a note of the formula. Half sum of parallel sides into distance between the parallel sides. Parallel sides are called A and B. And the distance between the parallel sides is called H. So half A plus B, half into A plus B into H. Sometimes it's also written as half H into A plus B. It's a product, no? So you can even exchange it like this. Half H into A plus B. That is half into H into A plus B is also correct.
now in this question the area of the trapezium is given to be 480 meters square the area of the trapezium is given to be 480 meters square that means half h into a plus b is equal to 480 area of the trapezium is given 480 meters square that means half h into a plus b is equal to 480 this is the formula to find the area and that is equal to 480 so half into what's the value of h the distance between the parallel sides 15 meters so the value of h is 15 one of the parallel sides is 20 meters so let's take a as 20 we need to find the length of the other parallel side so that is we need to find the value of b we need to find the value of b so 1 by 2 into 15 means 15 by 2 of 20 plus b is equal to 480 15 by 2 on the other side becomes 2 by 15 15 ones are 15 32 times so 20 plus b is equal to 32 into 2 20 plus b is equal to 64 32 into 2 is 64 b is equal to 64 minus 20 b is 44 therefore the other parallel side find the other parallel side the other parallel side or the length of the other parallel side is 44 meters 44 meters work the student Completed, ma'am. All right. Completed, ma'am. Good. Raja, done. I'm going to finish. Yeah. Completed, ma'am. Okay. So see here, the area of a rhombus is 240 centimeters square and one of the diagonals is 16 centimeters. Find the other diagonal. How do we do this? What is given? What is given? Area of rhombus. Area of rhombus is equal to 240 centimeters square is given. Now, what are the two uh, formula we have to find the area of a rhombus? What do we know one, about the area of, yeah? 1 by 2 D1 into D2, ma'am. Or, what's the other one? What's the other formula to find the area of a rhombus? Base into height, base into height. But here that formula is not relevant. Base into height is not relevant because uh, the information is given about one diagonal and we need to find the length of the other diagonal. So as you all, as one of you mentioned, we need to use the formula half D1, D2. Area of rhombus is 240. Half D1, D2 is equal to 240, correct? Yes, ma'am. So then half into what's the value of D1? 16 into D2 is equal to 240. We need to work this and find the length of D2. Yeah, well, this.
completed ma'am all right completed ma'am good devadarshini completed ma'am all right next question there is a hexagon so see uh, so what are the quadrilaterals we've seen so far first we saw quadrilateral meaning it's not a special quadrilateral it's a quadrilateral it's no special quadrilateral quadrilateral rhombus trapezium and then uh, again rhombus correct correct all right so now we see a hexagon there is a hexagon m n o p q r a hexagon is a six sided polygon a polygon with six sides a polygon made up of six line segments is called a hexagon so there will be six vertices m n o p q r there is a hexagon m n o p q r of side 5 cm meaning all the six sides measure 5 cm of side 5 cm meaning all the all the six sides name the sides name the sides of this hexagon like when we say triangle abc the sides are ab bc and ac here name the six sides of the hexagon ma'am mn no op qp rq and rm ma'am yeah each of them are of length 5 cm 5 cm 5 cm Right. Aman and Ridima divided it in two different ways. You can see Aman's method and Ridima's method. So they have divided the hexagon. Aman and Ridima have divided the hexagon in two different ways. Find the area of this hexagon using both the ways. Now Aman has. joined the vertices n and q aman has joined the vertices m and n and q so this way what has happened the hexagon is divided into two what now in the first one the quadrilateral was divided into two triangles correct here in this figure the quadrilateral pqrs is divided into two triangles qrs and uh, pqs in the same way the hexagon when amen when amen connects uh, the vertices n and q that is he joins <clears throat> the vertices n and q he has divided the hexagon into two what into two trapezium man correct trapezium because because only one side uh, both the sides are parallel this is parallel to this yes ma'am this is parallel to this one is parallel to this so how will you find the area of a trapezium 1 by 2 h a plus b ma'am correct what's the length how much is mr so which are the parallel sides These M R Q and O P and N Q. Yeah, for this trapezium, these are the parallel sides. What's the length of M R? Five centimeter, ma'am. What about N Q? Eleven centimeter. Eleven. It's given here. It's given here. Eleven centimeters is given here. And the distance between the parallel sides. This distance between the parallel sides. How much is this? Eight centimeter. Eight is from here to here. See, from here to here is eight. See, from here to here. This one, this one is eight. How much is this? Four centimeter, ma'am. Four centimeters. This will be four centimeters. This will be four centimeters. Let's do it again. 
So in this trapezium, these are the parallel sides and this is the distance between the parallel sides. MR, because OP is 5 centimeters, MR is also 5 centimeters. All the sides measure 5 centimeters. Of side 5 centimeter. You can see that MR is a side. MR is a side, so 5 centimeters. Then the other parallel sides, uh, side NQ is 11 centimeter because we can see it's marked here. This one, see from here to here. That means from here to here. You can see it's here. See it. NQ, NQ. NQ is uh, 11 centimeters. And the distance between the parallel sides, because this full thing is 8, this full thing is 8 centimeters, this will be half of it 4 centimeters. What about for the other trapezium? What about for the other trapezium? This one. These are the parallel sides, and this will be the distance between the parallel sides. How much is OP? 5 centimeters, ma'am. 5. NQ? 11 centimeter, ma'am. And uh, the distance between the parallel sides? 4 centimeter. Four. So it's the same, right? Yes, ma'am. Same, yeah. So using the formula half H into A plus B, we'll find the area of one trapezium. The same will be the area of the other trapezium. Add both to get the area of the hexagon. So like how? A quadrilateral can be divided into two triangles. A quadrilateral into two triangles. Similarly, here, here a hexagon by joining the vertices NQ is divided into two trapeziums, MNQR and NOPQ. What has Ridhima done? Ridhima has uh, connected the vertices M, O and R, P. And this way, she has divided the hexagon into three plane figures. Amman has divided, Amman has divided the hexagon into two plane figures, both trapezium. Ridhima has divided the hexagon into three plane figures. What are they? Two triangles and one rectangle. Two triangles and one rectangle. So we need to find the area of the two triangles, find the area of that one rectangle, add all the three to find the area of the hexagon. Do you think the area of the hexagon found using the two methods will be the same? Yes, ma'am. So it has to be the same, right? Because it's the same figure. It's just that it's divided in different ways, but it's the same hexagon. So the answer or the area of the hexagon will be the same in both the cases. Yeah, I think now you can just go through the answer and help yourself. Please read through the answer first. Method one is uh, Ridhima's, uh, no, Aman, uh, Aman's method and then Ridhima's method. Okay, method one is Aman's method. This is Aman's method. Children, please go through the answer and then start writing. So the parallel sides, children, okay, let's do it once again together. What's the length of MR, children? MR? 5 centimeters. 5. Then NQ? 5 centimeters. Yeah, NQ? MR 11 centimeter, ma'am. Yeah, MR and NQ are the parallel sides. See here, half sum of parallel sides, MR plus NQ, into distance between them. I've called it MS. 
So into MS, can we do we understand this? Half sum of parallel sides, half into sum of parallel sides into distance between them. Half MR plus NQ into the distance between them MS. So you can see half 5 plus 7 into 4. It was 8. No, this full thing was 8. So this is 4 here and 4 here. The same will be for the other trapezium. The same will be for the other trapezium. Half sum of parallel sides. Parallel sides are OP and NQ. Correct children? OP and NQ, sum of the parallel sides. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Between them, PT. So 32 centimeters square, add both 64 centimeters square is the area of the hexagon. And in this method, you can see area of the triangle is half base into height. Half base into height, base MO into height NS. What's this full length, children? How much is NQ? Please listen, how much is NQ? 11 centimeter, ma'am. 11 centimeter, ma'am. Okay. How much is... Uh, now, this one minute. Look at this line segment, NQ. Okay, let me do it here itself. Children, this full thing, this full thing, from here to here, this full thing is 11 centimeters. How much is this alone? How much is this? Five centimeter. So how much is this then from here to here? Five centimeter. What is 11 minus five? Six, ma'am. Ma so it should be three here and three here, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's do it again. This full thing, this NQ, NQ is 11 centimeters because it's, it's marked from here to here. This one, this one is 11 centimeters. This one is 11 centimeters. So NQ is 11 centimeters, NQ. This MR is 5. So correspondingly, from here to here will be 5. From here to here is 5. Because if this is 5, then this is also 5. This is 5 from here to here. 11 minus 5 is 6. So it should be 3 here and 3 here. Now add 3 plus 5, 8. 8 3 plus 5, 8. 8 plus 3, 11. So half base into height. Half into base MO into height NS. Height NS is 3. Base MO. See here, it's given. It's given 8. Can you see here? 8. This full thing is 8. So that means this full thing is 8. This full thing is 8. This one is 8, children, because from here to here, this one is 8. So this is 8. This is 8. The base of the triangle is 8 centimeter. Height, 3 centimeters. This height, 3 centimeter. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay, so. Half base into height, half into base 8 into height 3. Rectangle, length into breadth. Length into breadth. This length, this is the length of the rectangle. This is the breadth of the rectangle. This is the rectangle. This is the rectangle. This is the length of the rectangle. This is the breadth of the rectangle. So this is 8 into 5. 8 into 5. And again, half base into height. 64 centimeters square. Yes, children, do it. Please work.
Completed, ma'am. Right. Completed, ma'am. Okay. All of you? No, ma'am, writing the final answer. Okay. Completed now. So in the uh, hexagon, the given figure is a hexagon. The two friends have found the area of the hexagon in their own ways. The two friends have found the area of the hexagon in their own ways. The given figure is a hexagon and Aman and Ridhima have found the area of the hexagon in their own ways. Aman has divided the hexagon into two trapeziums 
Rhythma has divided the hexagon into two triangles and one rectangle. How much is this children? What's the length of this line segment given? 11 centimeter, ma'am. 11. How much is this? 5 centimeter. 5. Because this is 5. Each side is 5. This is 5. This one is 5. This one is 5. Off side, 5 centimeter. So this is 5. How much is this one? 8 centimeter. 8. So it will be 4 here and 4 here. Correct? Yes, ma'am. From here to here is 8. From here to here is 8. And how much is it from here to here? 8 centimeter. 8. So again, 4, 4. Now, to compute the height of the triangle, to compute the height of the triangle, what is this full thing? 11, right? This full length, the length 11. of the segment is 11. And from 11, how much is this one? 5 centimeter. 5. five. So from here to here, this is 11. This, this full thing is 11. 11 minus 5 is 6. So 6 divided by 2, 3 here and 3 here. This one is 5. Because this is 5, this will be 5. Rectangle opposite sides are equal. If this is 5, this also will be 5. Okay. How will you find the area of this tabletop? By using the formula of trapezium, ma'am. What's the formula? 1 by 2 h a plus b. Very good. So this is. Can I write down the answer? Ma'am, for this we need to draw, draw the diagram also, ma'am. Well, that's time consuming, no? So, you can just draw the top alone, the trapezium alone. Okay. So if you do fussy, it all depends on you. If you can make it fast, yes, do it. Otherwise, draw the trapezium alone. Done, children? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. Completed, ma'am. Okay. Be careful when you add 1.2 and 1. 1.2 plus 1, it's not like this. It's not 1.2 plus 1 like this. 1.3. It's not like this. It's 1.2 plus 
done similar one earlier. Want this answer? Read the question. Want this? You've done a similar one earlier, children. So you can work it like this instead of. Please work it like this. Area of trapezium is equal to 34 centimeters square. So half H into A plus B is equal to 34. Half into 4 into A plus B, 10 plus B is equal to 34. 2 into 10 plus B because cancels, you know, 2 ones are 2 twos are. Please work this. Don't do it like this, work it like this. Completed, ma'am. All right, children. All of you? No, ma'am. Okay. Is it over, children? I'm going to complete me. Completed now. All right. Length of the fence of a trapezium shaped field. The length of the fence, that is the perimeter of a trapezium. Length of the fence of a trapezium shaped field, ABCD, is 120 meters. That means AB plus BC plus CD plus AD is equal to 120 because the length of the fence is 120. If BC is 48, so BC is 48, CD is 17, CD is 17, AD is 40. So using this, we can find AB, right, children? Correct? Yes or no, children? Am I not clear? My audible children? Yes, ma'am. 
OK, 120 is the length of the fence, which is AB plus BC plus CD plus AD, correct? Yes, ma'am. OK, so what is this? AB plus how much is this? 48 and 40, 88, 98, 105. 105 is equal to 120. So AB is equal to the length of AB is 15 centimeters. 15 meters, sorry, 15 meters. 15 meters. So this AB is 15 meters. BC is 48. CD is 17. And AD is 40. We found 15. This is not given. This was not given. You know, we found this. Now the question is, find the area of this field. And it's given that side AB is perpendicular to the parallel sides AD and BC. AD and BC are the parallel sides and AB is perpendicular. That is, this is the distance between the parallel sides. AB is the distance, the perpendicular distance between the parallel sides. The parallel sides are AD and BC is given. AD and BC are the parallel sides and the distance between the parallel sides is AB because it's a perp that side is perpendicular to BC. So now how do we find the area of the trapezium children? Half H into A plus B. Half H into A plus B. Half into what's the value of H? Fifteen. Fifteen, ma'am. Fifteen meters. Into A plus B. Some of the parallel sides. What are the parallel sides? Forty and forty-eight. Forty and forty-eight. So this will give you the area of the trapezium field. Trapezium shaped field. Please work this one. Done, children? Yes, ma'am. Have you? No, ma'am. Okay. All right, children, since I have a class after this one, uh, in case you have not completed, please take a screenshot and complete it. Please take a picture. Taken, ma'am. Yeah, complete this one homework. Take a picture. Homework, take a picture of this one. Take a note. All right. Take a note. 
All right. Yeah, this one also. Direct can use, yeah, direct usage of the formula. Yeah, this one. Done? Taken, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, fine. From this, we'll continue the next class. Okay. That's it for today's session. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Chuk. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Chuk. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.